Hello, people of the internet. Um, today, I'm gonna talk a little bit about what I do. Um, I'm a senior motion designer. Um, I've been a senior motion designer for a few years. Um, where I am right now, currently, I've been a senior designer for about a year. Um, but I've been a senior designer somewhere else for a couple of years, and um, I have almost a decade worth of experience overall as a, as a motion designer. Um, what does that really mean? What have I done? Um, I'm, a, I'm a VFX artist, I've done some of that. Um, a lot of comp work, compositing. Um, some CG work, um, I'm a 3D artist, um, some traditional motion design, you know, with type, typography and things like that. Um, and I've learned most of this stuff over the years as I've gone along. I've learned something, got me doing something else, I've had to learn something else. You know, I've learned Nuke, I'm learning Houdini right now, I've dropped Nuke, I'm not using it anymore. I learned Maya for a little bit, I started out with 3D Studio Max, now I use Cinema 4D. So I've kind of touched a little bit of everything. Um, so what do I do? as a senior motion designer that would be any different than anybody else as a junior designer or a mid-level designer. Um, I have to say that I do most of the same stuff that I was doing before. Um, I do style frames um, to help pitches. Um, I do a lot of R&D work right now um, to help figure things out. Like, does this work? Would this renderer work for what we're trying to do? Would this work? Would this, this thing do what we need it to do? Um, I've been doing a lot of that stuff lately. Um, but what do I, what would I do that would be different than anybody else? Um, so a lot of the stuff that I've learned over the years has turned into me having a better understanding of the field, right? So having a better understanding of how to deal with agencies, how to deal with clients, how to deal with creative directors or art directors or um, producers or anything like that. I've learned these things, these the, the way they communicate with these people over the years. And I think that that's the biggest thing that's different between me as a junior level designer and me now as a senior designer is my, my communication is better. So I'm involved in a little bit more meetings. Um, I, I actually have a lot more client facing um, where I'm involved in that kind of stuff where I'm talking back and forth with clients or talking directly with agencies or whatever. Um, I do a lot more of that stuff than what I used to do when I was a junior designer. Um, I think that's the biggest difference from what I used to do um, a few years ago is that I'm involved more in that stuff. I'm also involved a lot more in bidding. Um, I get a lot of questions about how long should I, you know, bid this project for? You know, how many hours do you think it's going to take you? How many hours do you think it would take the team? That's the kind of stuff that I get involved in a little bit more now too. Um, something else that would be different than what I used to do as a junior designer um, is I actually, I handle uh, other creatives. So when we get projects in, um, sometimes I have to take the role as a creative lead. Um, I'm not the CD, I'm not the art director, but I am the creative lead, which means that the people that are working on the project, I have to make sure are doing the things and the tasks that they're asked to do. Um, I need to kind of direct them a little bit, you know, help them through some of the processes. Um, maybe I would build a toolkit. Maybe I would build something inside of Cinema or After Effects or something like that that they could use. And then I make sure that they are using it the way it was meant to be used. Um, and then guide them through the process as I continue to work on what I'm working on. Um, I don't really do anything different than what I used to do as a, as a junior designer. Um, I know that my eye is better than it used to be and it'll just continue to develop. Um, but I think the biggest difference is right now is, is the ability to communicate is definitely different. Um, and the ability to, to manage myself, my time is actually so much better. Um, Cause now I know that it, this is gonna take X amount of time. I know how to work that so that way I can make sure that I'm not there all night long, every single night. Um, I see holes in projects a little bit better than I used to then too. Um, so that's kind of a little bit of a rundown of what I do. Um, I'll post here at the end of the video, I'll just post a few still frames um, of some things that I've done recently. Um, I don't really have any animations that I can show right now um, other than what's on my website. Um, and I'll link that at the end of the video here too, um, or at the bottom. Um, that's not really what this channel's about, but I know that I get questions about that kind of stuff. Um, so I figured I'd just, I'll post a few frames here at the end. And if you want to check out the website, you're more than welcome. Um, if you have any questions about anything that I've done, um, or, you know, how do you get better at doing X, Y, Z or whatever, then feel free to comment. Um, let me know, um, message me, um, and if you could share, subscribe the channel, um, I'll continue to post videos like this. And if you have any of those things, like I said, you know, let me know and I'll make some videos about that stuff too. Thank you guys so much for your time. I'll see you guys in the next video.